What's up, what's up guys, your boy Freddy Kicks and welcome to another review of the Air Jordan 1 Heritage. I got this on GS. Uh, I wasn't get it, able to get it on um, men's sizes because right now it only released in UK. It's not available in the US right now. So um, I did get it in StockX, just to let you guys know. I know the whole situation, StockX sells fakes, bad reviews, whatever, etc. I understand that. Um, I was able to get it retail. I did uh, bid for men's sizes, but it didn't go through. The GS size, for some reason, went through. I'm glad about that. It took about a week to get here. And trust me when I tell you, it looks clean. Even though it's GS, pretty sure it will be the same material for men's sizes. So we're going to end up seeing hand-in-hand -hand how it is. So first thing you guys going to notice in GS, it looks like that we don't get the white and red box. That's the only thing that threw me off. I guess GS doesn't have it. Um, men will have the white and red box unless it's exclusive for something else. But I'm pretty sure they're changing the box for that sneakers itself. So let's see about that. Stock X and the price. Smells so good. Uh, before we show you the sneakers, we're gonna see what does it say over here. Air Jordan One Retro High OG GS White University Red Black University um, Rogue US USA Six and a Half uh, GS. That's my wife right here. She wears eight full women in six and a half GS. All right, there it is. Air Jordan One. Heritage. I don't know, man. These these colors are good. Only thing that throws me off is the black laces. I think I like it better white. I know it has a little black in here. I would like it better white. And if I would have looked at this without knowing the shoe was coming out, I would say it was a mid. Because the colorway, mids always throwing you guys different kind of colorways. So I would have thought this would be a mid. Probably Is there a mid in this colorway? Probably, man. There's so many colors uh, in the mids right now. But yeah, there it is right here. You see it has like a tag. The Nike tag from, I think it's, where is it? Where did it came from? China? Yeah, I think this is my first time ever getting a shoe that's not in the US. I guess. Let's not touch that. Let's look at the shoe. Look how clean it is. It's like gym red. I love the red is my favorite color, so obviously kind of biased. Look how puffy that is. Sheesh. Uh, we have your extra laces. See, um, I think this will be too much red on it, but I think the white will fit perfectly for this. Um, black, um, oh, I probably just, if it was my shoes, I'd probably put one black and one white. One, you know, leave this black, put this white, or vice versa. Not red though, I think it is, ha has enough red. White doesn't matter, black only has a little tint of black. Uh, but definitely, definitely will do this white. Into the this is it me or it looks different now? I haven't bought stock X in a long time. Inside right now is white with Nike Air Red. Super clean.
there it is guys air jordan 1 og heritage this is the gs version if i do end up getting in the us which is dropping may 25th i believe so uh, i'm gonna try to get you know i'll be honest with you air jordan ones are so hard to get but i will try to see because right now in stock it's not a very expensive thing it things like 20 dollars but uh retail is 170 so i'm not gonna pay 200 plus all the extra stuff this um gs cost 120 plus the shipping and all that went to 140 so I bought nearly retail, which is good. So if I could be able to get the same thing or ten dollars extra, I'll buy it. If I buy it for one eighty, kind of doubt it. For men's size, is always you can never find it too cheap. But yeah, this release in UK and China. I know it's on US. It's May twenty five. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys think. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.